with Endless mm-hmm. in that best of three set, and then Cake. I believe it was winner semifinals. Yeah, it was in winner semis. Yeah, it was wild. Actually, I think that was like before top. It was before top eight actually. No, so no. Cake started in losers, and then made a huge tear. Uh, did he? Yeah, I don't it remember. was Forest ZB in winners, and then because Forest beat MSB, and then ZB. I think it was Penguin and Windows. Uh, I am like a walking encyclopedia of results. I. Mm. Sorry, enough, enough right. about that. No, can... no, no. It's okay. I'm just trying to remember off the top of my head. Anyway, Grand Finals, Game 1, starting off on Aether Gates. Okay, this seems to be like their, their usual starting point. It's a pretty good starter stage. Both characters. I know Craig likes it. I'm pretty sure. I mean, if Cake's chill with it, it's probably not the worst. Let's see how he's playing right now. Yeah, I mean, he's been playing good, like, this whole tournament, obviously, but, like... Right now, he's been playing like super good. From what I've seen, I know one big indicator as like a gauge of how Cake's playing. The more he dash attacks, probably like the less warmed up he is. Because they're usually meant to be like tilt boosts or like baby dashes and stuff. Because he has a lot of very small, intricate movement that's like very <gasps> like, tech intensive. So if he's dash attacking a lot, it's usually not intentional. Probably needs like a little bit of time just to get back into it. Because ZB's been brawling his way through losers. Yeah, and at, at the very least, right now. Oh, super good turn oh, on there. Yeah. And the clone pop there. ZB's pillar actually popped, like, got rid of the clone. He probably would have broken the pillar Ooh. if he didn't do that. A great down smash to stay off the stop there. Yeah. He actually, that was a great tech on the wall, too. That, nor in a lot of cases, people try and tech too early, and they'll get into tech lockout and they'll hit the wall and they'll die. But great awareness there for everything. And oh my gosh, he's laughing at percent. He's about to laugh at him in percent right now. <gasps> oh, that looked like it was meant to be an up smash. He's been kind of like these Nair 2 up smash. I mean, Nair 2 up air setup. I know it's like a very benchmark ZB thing. Oh, oh little, my little god. Okay, yep, there it is. There's a forward Chucking these out with some mixed results recently. Uh, not gonna kill him, no. Craig is a beefy lad. Yeah, pop the pit, pop uh, the clone, pop yep. him up there. Oh, and just wait. Retribute. Oh, a little speed up on that happens sometimes. Yeah, but first talk on a 190, that's really good. Yeah, yeah ZB's a big lead in this. If you can be able to just, like, take out Cake Cookie before you can fully warm up, I think that'd be a really, really interesting set. The only problem is he has to go through two, because he's on the loser side. And once Cake warms up, he is going to be a beast. Okay, off stage. Trying to save a smoke for as much as possible. Oh, super clones! Uh, oh, yeah, actually, yeah, the, the clone clones. helped out there, yeah. Clone came in clutch a little bit. Got a couple of little damage in. It oh. got a little damage in, but more importantly, it returned him back to stage. Yeah. Like, it let him get back to stage. And he ended up getting stage control because he was far on the left side for a little bit. Yeah. Oh, advantage. these weights are super good. Like, you saw there, like, he waited for the tech and then waited for the instant air afterwards and then punished. It was great adaptation in the moment. That tech there actually helped him a lot because he could just double oh. jump that flat. Just up smashes. ZB takes game one. Mm -hmm. All right, ZB's playing pretty hot. Yeah, I got it got it against Penguin. Yeah, that clone like, there would have probably broken the pillar if ZB didn't pillar a little. If he pillared a little earlier and he was like set down and like went on the side, probably would have broken the pillar and forced him to go up. And then K could just do like down tilt cape or just like bear and dare. Yeah, tree it's top. that pillar and vulnerability, you know? Yeah. And yeah, treetop, like you said. Game two. I I don't know, this feels like a this feels like a pretty forest burn stage, but like I know MSP has mentioned that Crag's good here. So I mean I don't blame. I, I feel like ZB can probably make it work. Yeah, he's been trying to get a lot of this mileage out of just like nares and trying to like pop them up. He's just yeah, he's he's a nair machine. He's a washing machine right now with all these nares. <laughs> the old crack nair shots to the washing machine. Oh my god, he went for a oh, cheeky little... Oh, the tech on that setup. was actually super important. It would have sent him straight down. And was that could have just been an up smash, honestly. He's, uh, Nair down smash will still be good. Gets him on stage, though. Rock shard saving ZB there. Ooh, really the little the dash parry. dance after the cape just to bait out a parry. It's like, ah, uh, you, you think I'm going to do it? Psych! Speaking of psych. Good extension off of that. Yeah, Nair up air. Cake Again. tries to do a little cheeky uh, clone thing where you can set clones to the defensive option and just kind of like move around and jump. But ZB knew to just immediately break one of them because it'll stall invincibility if he didn't. Mm-hmm. 
And we saw there again, like, this smoke is giving Cake so much mileage just on the virtue of not knowing if he's actually at the ledge or not. Yeah, because he can just pop clone, and you see like, you see a forest pop out, it's like, oh, that's Cake. And then you just break it, and that's the clone, and then Cake just pops in the back air or something. Oh. Yeah, he destroyed the oh. pillar with the clone, and then just... Yeah, and downer spiked ZB off of it for his, his troubles. His clone spike game has been impeccable all day. It's, it's always been really good. Big yeah. hallmark of his play. Yeah, no, he extension. honestly used the way he uses clone is just so good. Also, the Nair twos just on repeat because he saw it, he's just like, all right, now this last three in a row. Waited for him to get close enough to the ground to actually start attacking. Not phase at all that ZB's like even doing these downbeats. Like, just, yeah, you know, it's fine. It's ZB. He's used to ZB just chucking them out. ZB's also been a big person who will just like edge cancel them. So I think Cake's probably realizing that, like, hey, I probably can't parry all these. Just get them. <gasps> that parry was incredible. Down. Uh, that's not gonna kill you yet, but he does have combust online. Just Absolutely tries to early. go for a raw. Oh, yeah, that yeah. is just going. He's confident. He's reaching out. Yeah, rocking the these gap. Deep edge charts. Rocking the gap, hoodie. That would have been. <clears throat> yep, rock chart saved him on that clip. Yep. That that little that little shimmy there into the down smash was so good. Cause like after that, like you expect to just kind of get instant down smash, but no, he knew. He waited, and that's like that's kind of what you see. It's like it's it's adaptation of back and forth. Like I see you're flinching, I'm gonna punish you for flinching, and then you you gotta you gotta steal yourself. You gotta make sure like okay, I'm not gonna flinch, but you don't even know if they're gonna punish you for that. So it's insane. This is little... I got back here. I want to say I don't want to say nice back here, but Cake literally just did back here for like 20 seconds. I mean, I don't blame him. Fantastic move. But, like... <laughs> yeah, ZB held out on that little Nair 2 there, so he couldn't get the extension off the down tilt. Usually, in that case, it's just, like, holding out is like the safest option because you can't hold down the down smash. Yeah. Oh, catch the up smash out of the stall there, yeah. Wait out, Cake stall, knew he was going to land, and then just anti-aired it completely. Yeah, ZB will tech ones, and you just... It's hard, so hard to hit both of them. And now he has no pillar. Yep. Yeah, down smash is going to do it. Repeat. And just like that, it's like it's like the first talk never happened. And yeah, getting that smoke up there was super useful. It kind of, you know, be, give the ability to stall out those iframes. He pops clone and then just upbeat into it, so he could just have a little bit of like freedom. Oh, he wanted. To, I feel like if he got the near one, he would have actually been able to get the upper there. Oh, he had just enough time to tech that right before. He, he took See, a guess. He tried to destroy it because he knew he would tech it, but he was probably a couple frames too late. Yeah. Tried to guess as well, like which clone was the real one, and unfortunately guessed wrong. Yeah, That's a yeah, downer spike, and that is it. Down tilt turnaround there. It's pretty hard to do, honestly, because you have to have the perfect timing to let you know when the down tilt ends. The cake's very familiar with it. Well, we're seeing ZB pull out the forward smashes again. Getting a little bit antsy. Yep, again, the double pair on the rock pair. shards. Yeah, he, it's, it's it's like full screen. Both of them have time to react and parry it. Mm -hmm. Especially when the shot is a lot more condensed, too. There we go, Nair up air. Forward sprint recovery still argue, still easily like the weak, the, the most exploitable part of his whole uh, kit. His advantage pretty good, neutral is pretty solid. You know, you got fun. The guy was a little bit better than it used to be, especially with the, the you know, buffs to his... Yeah, yeah, but it's definitely still like, probably, at least in my opinion, it's still like the the weakest part of like his, his whole uh, thing. Like he can get rinse repeated very easily compared to some other characters. That was super good to down be the shards to catch him. It gets rid of the smoke. It tells you it gets rid of the clone. It tells you which the real forest burn is. So it gives you good data and it just helps with the edge guard as well. <gasps> so gonna kill? No, it's not, gonna not kill. pulling up enough. Not yet. Craig is a heavy lad. Hard to kill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He'll always put some smoke down and then pop clone to beat to harass. Now, forward smash, I think, will start killing. Yeah, there goes. Oh, there goes the first pillar, but ZB just brings out another one. And then parry that second one. There's the pillar. Yeah, ZB had to make a big play with that. Oh, it doesn't get the. Air. He did get the fair. I don't, uh, unfortunately, no back air. And Clone pops and the shards now. Now he has no pillar. I think ZB's oh, just yeah, dead. Oh, yeah, he's just dead there. He accidentally side B. I think he wanted to do uh, an immediate up B after that, but. No dice, Cake going up 2-1 now. Just pressuring at the ledge. 
Oh, maybe he didn't want to do the fast fall. Maybe he just wanted to do side B. Yeah, that makes sense. Maybe just side B. No, no fast fall right. there. Oh, I saw him hover over the Z bear, with the the Vandalus a little bit. Yeah, he might have considered it, but he said, "No, my crack's playing well enough. You know, yeah. I can do it. You know, I can I do mean, it." I mean, it's 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 his tournament game. I think it's a big risk, and it just determines of whether you want to try this or not. Because he's had success with the crack in the past. He hasn't played Edelus in a while. He just it's just more like, am I confident in this? All right, we're going to Frozen Fortress for game four. Cake on potential tournament point right now. I think this is an interesting stage pick. I know this is like Cake's one of his favorite stages. He's very comfortable here, mostly because like the center plat is very good for aggressive play. It can encourage a second movement option. ZV yeah, has exactly. those top plats where he can kind of just like, you know, hang out, stall, do his like you know, ZV stuff up there. So I think he's good for both of them. I can definitely see the merit in this counter pick. I think it's just a little bit risky against a player like Cake as well. Yeah, I know Forsman's in general really like this stage. Just the amount of stage control you can get from the top plats alone is just phenomenal. Yeah, he's moving seamlessly Ooh, between those plats. Yeah. Cake is extremely comfortable here. I think this was a really risky play, but we can see how it pans out. First stock um, doesn't tell us everything. Memory serves. They the the few times Cake and uh, DB did play here, uh, Cake did win pretty dominantly. So I wouldn't be surprised given how it's going. But great drift DI there. Holy moly. Like, he, if he di too hard okay. in, oh, yeah. Really smash. good Nair 2 set up on that up smash. Mm -hmm. Just like that, ZB evening it up, showing that he's still on the board. He wants this reset. He definitely does, but Cake right now is not going to – Cake's not going to let up. They, they have, like, their own little rivalry. Cake is uh, not going <laughs> to – Cake's not going to let it up so easily. Oh, great weight there. No ZB's a little bit anti. Says, oh, no, I'm going to hit you for it. Zivi is playing a little more passive, as I say that, but it feels like he's playing just a bit more like passive on the platforms right now, and it's not really working out too well because Cake is just maneuvering around. Yeah, somewhere. during his set with Penguin early, he was doing a lot of just like plat drop aerials from the plats, especially like plat drop deep fair, and just kind of like playing around that. It's had mixed Ooh, results. Yeah, right out there. Ooh, that force is gonna do it. That. ZB evening it up again. All right, potential tournament stock for ZB, even potential win point for for Cake right now. Cake oh my god, yeah, it. he mm. wants this. Yeah, I was gonna say oh, that going was. Deep. Cake is confident. I think he's trying to find a way to punish ZB when he does those uh, pillars at the wall. Yeah, he wants to just meet him down there because he's doing about the same tempo. He's not really stalling as much like MSB would. So he just literally meets oh him my. down there and just back airs. Oh him. my! Oh my Super god! Super clutch game from ZB and these double up airs. That game was insane. Five. The wherewithal to convert that was insane. Yeah, we're at a game five. And I mean, when game five rolls around, it, it sometimes it, ZB clutches up and he gets the game. We'll have to see how it goes. These two have had some some very wild. See that right there, that runoff nair into the double up air. That was insane. Perry's the clone. Nair jab. Runoff Nair one or Nair two up ever. air up air and then and into then Waveland jump Waveland, yeah, Waveland up and then air up air again the like drift. look at that that's insane ZB doing a little tiny pop off yeah he's like I knew he's like I'm still in this I'm still in this I'm sick. There's a reset. I'm nice with it I'm sick we bands on Blazing Gate uh, Abyss and Trooper Pond I think those are pretty good ones especially oh uh, yeah the, the Abyss one's probably the best one the Abyss against like ZB Ooh. banning against Kate or, yeah. Mm. Well, because ZB, uh, no, Cake, I believe, won game three. That's fair. I think the triple one makes definitely the most sense. Yes, this is Cake's kind of pick. Edge cancels that. ZB loves to Of course, that. yeah. Of course. Very ZB, yes. Pull just down beyond those plats, and then just X cancel it. It's completely safe. Cake will, Cake will still parry it just because, like, you know, just in case he doesn't. ZB, ZB's repaired. Yeah. All right. Gets another back here. He tries to just like side B into his own rock and it just does not help. Back air. Oh, oh he, he leans into there. it a bit. Yeah, he leans yeah, into it. Like, oh my! Super clean call out from ZB. That was insane. Let me just go for that as a reversal. That's insane. That's crazy. He's been doing those down B's like all of top eight and they've had mixed results, but they're really starting to show up. No, like 90% of them have hit, but like that one, that's a, that was that's a, a 100 a pointer right there. Call yeah, out. yeah. I got a half well, court like, shot. Like, he was down percent-wise. He was, like, getting kind of bullied in neutral, and now just he has a whole 80% lead. Yeah. Huge momentum shift, 80% on cake right now. 
he's just this is huge. Me. I think he beholds us leaving absolutely get a reset going. And now you can never count kick out though. That's one thing I've learned playing he's him, the watching most him play. Clutch he, player. Yeah. He, he does he does some crazy things. I don't know how he manages to clutch up so hard, but he does every single time. Definitely the most clutch player. I think three of his top eight sets at least at uh, Heat Wave were clutches. I think it was Zara Zar was immensely clutch. I think uh, it game five, Penguin. I believe, with Penguin. Game uh, Game five with Zara. Yeah, Zara was like a full like two. Like, oh no, the roll in there, back. killing potential reset point now for ZB. Cake Save on his cake. last stock of winners. Keep it together. That's, yeah, that is gonna kill right off the side. Just a little right, bit too hard out. And, situation. Yeah, and just like oh no, off stage, off stage. Mm. Was that planned? You threw the rock up so you can down with the shards I and have it. Might have been That'd checking be in. Really, really smart. Air, oh. Cake air dodge just so it doesn't work. It was a really good read option. Just cake was prepared for it. ZB getting a little fishy. Yeah, he, yeah, he's, he's kind of just chucking stuff. He really wants this reset. I mean, I don't, I don't blame him right yeah, now. Nerds are, nerds are definitely starting to get in. Cake's not just jumping out there like he, he was earlier. He knows that there's a lot on the line here. Big $1,000 pop bonus. Oh, it's close. Oh, oh. he's just chucking it the, out. The confidence to go in there. Cake wants to see if he could just tech in on that. He's giving him so much respect at the corner right now. It's actually insane. Oh, <gasps> good tech good on tech the cape. TV. Takes care of the clone. <gasps> he oh, he, he came the wrong way. It doesn't that. matter. He's not gonna go down there. There's no He's, way. Yeah. He has combust online. Oh, if he parried that, it would have been like curtains for ZB. Parry, yep, double parry. Both players are very in control right now. <gasps> and the oh raw God, combust. The call out on that. ZB has a really bad panic parry and just takes it. <laughs> They're like, what a gentleman in melee. Yeah. <laughs> and with a 3-2, Kegasol is your TAPS 4 champion from winner's side. They're probably going to do Thug Finals in melee. Absolutely. But man, the dash dance there with Combust made ZB flinch, and that was that was curtained. I think Holy it's been moly. a while since Cake has won a tournament through winners. Now that we uh, think about it, Heat Wave was losers. Riptide was losers. He's always been a big losers run player. Yeah, now he's, he's, he's just had crazy losers. Showing runs. his dominance. I'm trying to remember uh, uh, something else happened between those two, but yeah, no, that this is this is a really this is a really solid run through winners. Like Penguin three three one three one three one, and then Z and then ZB and uh, Grand's three two. Uh, ZB and Grand's three two, and then he didn't drop a game before that. He three no, Uda. three at MSB three to Uda. Yeah, yeah. That's an insane run, but again, it's cake, so you know. You Huge go play congratulations! Melee? You <laughs> He's like, want to play melee? Yeah, you want to play melee? <laughs> All right, I think that's gonna. I, I'm not sure if there's anything else to really say on that. That was an insane run from Cake. Huge you congratulations getting, to him. Yeah, big congratulations. You want to do a winners interview? Uh, yeah, we can do that. What's up? Can I do a winners interview? Why? Why? Wait, what? Oh, for the train. Wait, you're trying to like... I get... What? Yeah. Well, what do you mean? I, I, guess, I guess we're... Um, are, are, I believe we're signing off there. <laughs> Wait, I thought your train was midnight. Alright. But... I believe we are... I, I gotta go. I am totally sorry. Are you okay sorry. with us signing off? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright. Thank you so much, everyone, Thank for everyone. watching TAPS 4 <laughs> Top 8. Uh, I'm Akashi. Next is gonna go catch his train. I, I, gotta, I gotta escort Autumn. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna go catch a train. I'm gonna go home. Uh, thank you so much, everyone, for watching. Have a great night. Love y'all. Peace. Alright, guys, and I just wanna say, uh, from House of 8000, thank you so much for tuning in. Every time you guys, uh, watch our streams, you always feel the energy. We love you guys. And, uh, yeah, we hope you have, we hope you